when she first arrived, when they told them that they are Muslims and they're not going to hurt them, um, and that uh, they shared, they ate the same food that their uh, um, the, um, the Hamas was eating. You go with this one. My mom is saying that they, they were very friendly towards them and that they took care of them, that they were given the medicine. Uh, that they were given they were given medicine. In a video clip we can see clearly that one of the released hostages was rather very warmly shaking hands with one of the uh, operatives and also said shalom which means peace now this isn't what the israeli media or the pro-israeli pro-zionist media was portraying across the world and i'm very sure that many people will be asking questions as to why hamas had to take these people into the captivity to start with but that would be a good question and i would suspect that the hamas and other operatives in the region their answer would be well, how else can we respond? Now, whether it's a right answer or wrong answer, I will leave that up to the political commentators. But let's talk about the actual treatment, the comparison between how Hamas treated Israelis and how Israelis have been treating uh, Palestinians. As it is widely reported in the media that the uh, hostages released by Hamas, well, they have a lot of uh, good words. There's a lot of praises for Hamas, the way in which they were treated where they were cared for, the medicine that was provided, the health was looked after, and they all ate same food. This is not something you'd expect Hamas to do because when you look at Hamas through the eyes of the BBC or the CNN or the other pro-Zionist media, well, you will see Hamas as all well, the savage people, not just Hamas, all the Palestinians, baby killers and so forth. This is how you perceive them. But this is not what the picture is coming out. On the other hand, if you look at the pictures as to how Israel has been treating Palestinian children, caging them up, locking them up, the torture, the abuse, the human rights violations, it is unbelievable. And what is even more unbelievable is that how the Western media is still doing their best to put a positive spin to tilt everything in favor of Israel. But I guess that time is now gone. The point I am making is that if Western media has been lying about how the Israeli prisoners have been treated, not just after they were taken into the captivity, but how they were arrested, people like Douglas Murray, for example, way in which they have been portraying picture that babies with heads cut off or women being raped next to the dead bodies of their friends, now that is the picture which was given to the world. Palestinians are savage people. Israelis are the victims. But that does not appear to be the case. Well, not at all, in fact. But then the question is that if Western media is caught lying on this issue, and not just this, but many other issues, then how long do we tolerate them? Then how long do we accept the news that comes from them as trustworthy? And the answer is, there is no reason to do so at all.